Um, I mean, everyone's talking about high quality premium video um, that is channel specific, whether it's for Twitter or Snapchat. Everyone's talking about brand safety. Everyone's talking about data and insights and technology and innovation. But for me, the thing that's really standing out the most is it feels like this year's really the tipping point in which people um, feel like their content really needs to speak to a larger purpose and tap into some of the cultural and political um, movements that are happening. And, and so it's not just about um, content that can entertain because that will always you know be around and content that serves utility whether it's how to style your white jeans or what I'm gonna make for dinner but now really highlighting these stories of change makers and people that are um, you know not necessarily had their story told before I mean just today we saw at the Meredith New Front um, the stories about the um, people that have really stepped up after natural disasters and um, how they've made real change in their communities um, and not necessarily you know at the moment of that natural disaster when the cameras are still on but later when you know the cameras are turned off and that's when you know the hardships really set in um, I think that brands can really make a difference because you know they have the resources that perhaps some of these causes might not have they also have the microphone and the ability to amplify and we know that consumers you know take it really seriously when brands um, support a cause and they're that much more likely to engage with the brand and if you sell something shop shop your product the consumer wants the path to purchase to be as easy as possible so I've seen a number of different technology um, innovations this week that make that path to purchase as easy as possible whether it's shopping in video or shopping within an article however you can minimize the amount of clicks to the purchase I think will be a win for consumers